con la madera, la montaña y la vida. Vengo con el aire, el agua, la tierra y el fuego. Vengo a mirar el mundo de nuevo. Vengo con mis ideas como escudo, con el sentir humano, a vivir este mundo donde el hombre nuevo busca el contrapunto. It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. This is 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA. We're joined by the legends Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And it is Wizard basketball tonight as the Washington Wizards go up against the Portland Trailblazers at Moda Center. For Portland, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. And guys, still some time left till tip-off. Let's talk scoring. Kenny, how did you look to establish yourself at uh, that end of the floor, and when did you know you were in for a big night? Well, for me, it was just about getting the basketball in the right areas of the floor, either off the dribble or off the pass. So if I knew if I got to certain areas of the floor, I was going to be able to score and have a big night. The defense tried to dictate that, but you have to try to dictate it and overpower that mentally. Well, I wanted to go out average 28 10. So 28 divided by four quarters, seven points a quarter. My goal was to be on the attack, try to get to the rim every time, hit as many free throws as I could. And if I had double digits after the first quarter, it's over. The diesel will come. It smells blood. So seven, <sighs> seven, just seven points a quarter. That's all you were looking for. Yes. And how many rebounds per quarter were you looking for? Four. Yeah, but that's, that gives you 16 rebounds instead of 10. I smell blood, Ernie. I'm going to change the subject. Shack That's it, it for now. Shack Thanks for tuning in. Shack it up. Leave Shack me alone. It up. Hands off. <laughs> Kenny, help. Ah! Help. Beneath the tranquil hills of Washington Park, downtown Portland, alive with activity. We have an interconference affair lined up for you today as the Washington Wizards come in for this one. We're live from Portland, Oregon. Hometown fans are cheering for their trailblazers. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And on the sideline tonight, Doris Burke. And it's going to be the trailblazers off the tip. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. So on the floor for Washington, the talented Wall and Beal team up in the backcourt. Marky Morris is out there with Otto Porter Jr. And it's Gortat in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And guys, one thing that was obvious to me, last year the Wizards really matured as a team. I mean, they played as if they expected to win instead of a group kind of coming into their own. I thought they just showed a lot more composure and maturity on the court. And they are on the board first. Trying to set the tone here early. I like that. Here's Lillard. Washington with the rebound. We've got 113 left in the first quarter. Morris outside. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. As you said, the Wizards did look more mature last year on the floor with their plate. They made sure to add veterans to achieve that. And not just any veteran, but a future Hall of Famer in Paul Pierce. I mean, his presence on the team, I, I think, really is what propelled them to achieve new heights. And it also went beyond just Paul Pierce. That roster had a combined 490 playoff games. And, and, and that playoff veteran leadership, I felt, really helped this young four. And Damian Lillard with the chain. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. And he gets it to go. Trailblazers have gone just 1 of 4 to get this game started. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Here's Beal. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. The Wizards have had two chances at the line already, making them both. 
And we've all seen how dominant Bradley Beal can be. The third overall pick in the 2012 draft. He's already had a solid young career, but still plenty of room to grow. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Davis has checked in for Plummer. Myers Leonard comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. Gerald Henderson, he's checked in for Maurice Harkless. And Crab subbed in for Lillard. Here's McCollum. He's now one for two with that bucket. Talking about Bradley Beal's potential, it's not just the shooting, it's also the passing, and you really don't think of him as a passer, but for such a young two guard, he's extremely unselfish. He averaged over three assists a game over the past two years. And, and the, the true stars of our game feature versatility. And, and here's a guy that has also great tremendous point. upside as a rebound. I mean, how about getting seven boards almost a game the one year he was in college? So he understands the importance of impacting other areas. I mean, last season he had his highest steals average of his career and, and everything's upside with this young man the sky's the limit excellent play. sessions passes to Nene from deep got it off in time but it's no and now a chance to hear from point guard Damian Lillard he explains his stoic demeanor on the floor Talk to you know never let anybody see how you feel I kind of just embraced it you know for my entire life just you know you wouldn't know if something was going on in my life or not because uh, as long as I'm taking care of business and doing what I need to be doing you know that's all that matters I would say Clark we probably shouldn't expect to see Lillard starring in any reality shows about his, about his personal life I think that would be accurate I mean Lillard is a young man who is all about taking care of his business and doing what he needs to be doing I mean his reality is trying to live up to the expectations for him in Portland and so far it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going and what stands out to you from Washington in this one they just they've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. Yeah, this is how you can keep the crowd quiet, though, Greg. I mean, methodically score at the line and take some of that energy away from the fans. They don't like to have the action stop and the opposing team score. Damian Lillard out there with Craig. Then there's Plumlee. Then there's Mo Harkless. And it's Davis at the power four. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Well, I tell you what, Nene is a man among boys down low. Remarkable physical power. He's also got a tough mentality about him. Just a real rugged individual. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. Been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's awesome. Thornton, no good. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. They get a bet. The dish to Lillard. Plumlee with the screen. Harkless kicks to Lillard. No luck. Wall with some nice defense. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lillard. So Portland ends up going with the new group. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Porter's checked in for Nene. Stolen by Henderson. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. A three from McCollum. Kicks it to Amini. Second chance shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Amini's got his first basket. And, and the double clutch layup in that situation, that's just him playing to the crowd, guys. And Wall. Here we go now. Davis with some nice D. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. And a pretty tightly contested game here. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Kenny, the Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. We'll be looking back at the game's first half. A pretty close game for the Wizards throughout the first quarter. At the end of the period, they held a two-point lead. The second quarter was a strong effort for them as they continued to battle, and they were able to close out the half in a good position. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. Well, just a great offensive performance tonight. The play calling, the passing, the shooting, it was all working. 
they forced the defense to stretch itself thin trying to figure out who to cover. And that created a lot of room for the shooters and spot up jumpers. Looking at Portland, Shaq, your thoughts. It will really help their cause to get to the line more. It's a close game and every point matters. The team that usually wins a game like this is the more aggressive team. Pushing the ball, taking it hard to the paint. That's the team that's going to get rewarded. And that's it for halftime as the second half is just about to get underway. See you after the game.